Do you want to have a stacked inventory and your inventory looks like this and your wallet looks like this? Well, look no further. If you want Kitsune, if you want Cursed Dual Katana and God Human, if you want all these mythic weapons, accessories, uh, fruits, especially the fruits, then you're going to have to watch till the end because I have a solution to how to get a stacked inventory as quick as possible. Now, it's obviously going to take you some time, but I'm going to give you a quick run through on how I did it step for step. So please make sure to like and subscribe and help me reach 2,000 subscribers, but uh, yeah, let's get into it. Now before we start, if you're not max level, just please level up. I'd suggest eating Buddha, getting Awakening, tell one of your friends to awaken it for you, and just being able to use Electric Claw and kill all the NPCs. It's just such an advantage for leveling up, but this guide won't really work unless you're full max level. I mean, it could work, but I would really suggest being max level for this. Anyways, now that you're max level and you're watching the video, I want to start with the method I suggest to everyone, which is the gotcha method. Whatever money you have, whether it's from grinding NPCs, grinding bosses, or just random money that you've gotten throughout Bloxfruits. Being able to log in daily and summon on the gotcha is such an advantage because people are willing to trade anything for good fruits. Being able to get high value fruits like Kitsune or Dragon can really put you at like a good advantage. Let's say you get a Katsune and you trade it down for some good fruits or maybe even a game pass. This is very useful for you because you can trade this for a service, which basically means if you need someone to do something for you, if you can't do a raid, if you can't do race awakening alone, you can ask these people to do it for you by requiring them those game passes and fruits of such. And I'm not suggesting that services is the thing you should do most in common, it's just a good way to really get your accessories broad your mythical swords too i think one of the most expensive services in game is the white yoru and the true triple katana because they take a long tedious time and it can really be unworth it for some people and there's also a lot of risk of scams so there's also that to be careful of that's why this method is really just a high risk high reward so if you want to look for easier methods i'm about to move on to that right now now the second method is completely opposite. I mean, what you're gonna do here is you're just gonna wanna advertise you doing services for people. If you think that you're good enough to do race awakening raids, if you think that you can carry these people, maybe you're good at PVP, or maybe you just have a good build for raids or something like that. You could be able to host your, um, your services out on a random discord or maybe just even in chat. And note that it's not actually bannable in game as long as you don't charge robux or outside of in-game currency things then it is bannable so do not be asking for robux for services only ask for game passes or fruits or i don't know that's about it so really all you should be asking for if you want to get rich and you think you have enough skill to be helping these other people in need then that's totally a possibility so i think that doing services for a person is also another high risk high reward thing because they can also scam you so i also do have one more method which is a very calm but very slow and tedious method and this is the one i mainly used because it really helped me out on my journey so we're gonna get into that right now now this last method is going to the raids channel in the blocks fruits official discord i found many many kind people on here they mostly just do raids or maybe some sea events or maybe even a mix of both. But all they really do is they look for people to help them with something that would normally require a group to do but they're still online and they have no friends on. So they go to the raids channel and they post different links, private server links and different hosts and say oh yeah I'm doing a magma raid or oh I'm looking for a race awakening human only. It might take a little bit longer with Race Awakening because people will be greedy at times. There's not many nice people in Race Awakening raids, but being able to actually find that opportunity where people have a full moon in a server, it's just so reliable to me. So if you want sort of just to expand your account's sort of powers, then this is the way to do it. But if you want accessories and swords, then I'd really just stick to the gotcha method where you're summoning for fruits and trading down for game passes. You could even trade for a Yoru if you have enough value. 
So yeah, there's different, there's a whole lot of different ways to get rich on Block Streets that I probably haven't mentioned. But being able to name these three things off the top of my head just shows that it's really easy to get a valuable inventory in Block Streets. And if I had the opportunity to start over and do it again, maybe I would. So I want to let y'all know, I want y'all to let me know what you think in the comments. And uh... Yeah, we're going to finish up today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, again, please make sure to like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, see you all later on the next Summit W podcast.